Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, He-Man, <laughs> from the new Netflix animated series. And this is more than just a regular He-Man, clearly. This is a new deluxe He-Man figure that is just now starting to hit stores. I actually found mine in stock on Amazon, which is where I picked it up, and he's like got this really great armor on it. I don't really know the story behind it yet, but we did see this armor in the teaser trailer for Season 2, so I assume this is something that's going to be explained to us. Since he's a deluxe figure, he comes on this open box packaging. He's got the try me thing, so you can actually do the power punch with the figure right there in the box. You can also see he's got these attachments. It's like a sword and a shield attachment for his arms, so that's really interesting. Like they're uh, made of just like pure energy or something, like energy weapons. And then on the back, I mean, it just shows you how his action feature works. And then you get a very small single figure cross L showing that Beast Man is also in this wave. So let's go ahead and get He-Man pulled out of the box and we will get a closer look at him. All right, so we've got our new He-Man outside of that box. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, when I filmed the intro while he was still in the packaging, I had not yet watched season two and now I have watched it. So I can tell you that the armor that he's wearing is King Grayskull's armor. Uh, we saw this in season two when looking at the painting of King Grayskull. However, we never actually saw He-Man wearing this armor. So this is really interesting. It makes you wonder if this is something that we're gonna see in a future season or if it's just something fun that Mattel decided to do with the designs. But essentially, we've got He-Man wearing King Grayskull's armor. So that's a really interesting concept for a figure. And I will say it's a very cool looking figure as well. Now, we do have like that standard He-Man head there at the top, but the rest of this guy appears to be entirely new all the way through because he's got all these newly sculpted armor pieces on his body here, which looks very, very nice. Love that he still has the He-Man sword logo on his chest, kind of coming down the front of this goldish armor. And this is like molded in a gold plastic, but it looks really good. It's not like overly shiny, but uh, it still looks pretty nice. You can see it's got a little bit of that marbly swirl going on in there. I know not everybody likes that, but I honestly think it looks pretty cool on this. Uh, he does have a cape as well, which is an interesting piece of this. Now, this is a lot like a lot of the soft goods we've seen from Mattel lately. Um, it's very basic. It's very straight. I'm not a huge fan of the capes that we've been getting lately, the soft goods. Now, it's it's better on this line because this is like the kids line. So I don't expect it to be as, you know, detailed or anything like that. So this is fine as is. Uh, but otherwise, this is a really nice, solid figure. Um, he feels hefty. I think he's got a really great look. I actually love the way the gold and the blue look together. I think that's a really interesting look for the character. Now, his articulation does function the same as what we've seen so far. It's very basic. You can see the arms get hindered a little bit uh, going outwards because of those massive shoulder pads he has going on there. But you can still move the arms forwards and backwards. Uh, nothing at the elbows. And then you just have swivels at the wrist there. The torso has his power attack. So just like we've seen on the other figures, you can bend him backwards and he springs forwards with his cape over his head. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> so yeah, you can spring him forwards or just like on the classic toys, you can also twist the torso to the side and release and he swings forward for a power punch works very very well on here and then the legs they can slightly go outwards they can move forwards and backwards at a good range you swivel at the knee but there's no bends at the knee so he's actually in a squat pose much like the vintage toy line uh, and no other articulation in the legs so it's basic but it's all sturdy that's one thing I will say about it and uh, for being a, a guy who's pretty top heavy looking he balances really well so I think that is pretty nice now, he does come with two accessories, and these are both really interesting, unique accessories as well, because he's got a clip-on translucent yellow shield and a clip-on translucent yellow power sword. So these are interesting weapon designs. We didn't see this in the show either. They look like they're energy weapons because you can see kind of like the fiery blast coming off of both of them there. Um, so I'm not sure what the story is with this since we didn't see this in the show yet, but you can just clip these weapons to his wrists. It actually clips on really, really well there. So now we've got a sword of power that's like clipped onto his arm. We've got a shield over here. So it's really interesting that he's just generating these energy weapons. Not something we've really seen from He-Man before. I kind of wish this was actually in season two. So there was an explanation here, but alas, I will still say it's a cool looking toy to be sure. 
Now, it is worth noting, we've actually had several He-Man figures in this line already uh, with this new King Grayskull armored up He-Man. Uh, you know, we've also had the basic He-Man, we've had the translucent yellow Power of Grayskull He-Man, and we've had the repaint that came with his uh, Ground Ripper motorcycle. So four He-Man variants already in the line, and that's not even counting Prince Adam which is also now available. So lots of He-Man, which seems to be the norm when we're talking about Masters of the Universe toy lines. But there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new armored up He-Man, the King Grayskull armor He-Man action figure. Uh, honestly, I think it's really nice. I mean, it's a cool look, very different look for the character. Kind of neat seeing He-Man all armored up there. I think the deco is really good on this guy. The clip-on weapons are interesting. I still don't understand the story with them, but all in all, it's a fun figure. And if you're into the variants, it's a cool addition to this very fun toy line. So this guy is hitting store shelves right now. Uh, I actually found this one specifically on Amazon, uh, but it is showing up in stores as well. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.